Hi there, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and as you can see we've got a fun project that we are going to start today. It's kind of inspired by Valentine's Day but I'm actually going to make this plaque so it's something you can hang in your house all year long and maybe even add just a little extra ribbon to it to um, make it more Valentine's Day I guess. So you can see I'm definitely in the mood, I even got a great shirt on. You'll be able to find this tutorial as well here on my YouTube channel, and let's get started. So I found these cute elements at Hobby Lobby the other day on one of my shopping trips, and I just couldn't help but grab them. Um, the word love um, just inspired me to create something cute, and then I found this plaque, which uh, was only $5.99. It might have even been on sale, you guys, okay? So this is a really inexpensive piece because I think the word love was maybe just a couple of bucks and I thought that would just be so cute. So we're gonna get started. Um, I'm actually working with um, Bondego, uh, which is a black paint and primer all in one, but you really can use anything. Um, and I also grabbed some sandpaper and just sand it around just so to make sure that my edges weren't really rough still. Um, and then we're just gonna get going, okay? We're just gonna paint this whole thing black. And I'm gonna paint all of it black, okay? So between the slats, the edges, and just make sure the whole thing um, is painted. Okay, I've been using an artist brush to get the top edge, but to get down in between all the slats, I'm gonna grab a foam brush, which I think will work a little bit better. So I'm just making sure that all edges and sides are painted black, so no matter which direction you look at it, it's not gonna look like there's some undone um, areas, okay? And then we're gonna let this completely dry and we'll get started on our word love as well. And if you see that you've missed anything, just go back and add a little bit of a second coat there. And with the word love, we're gonna be painting all sides of this as well. Um, not really so much worried about the back, but we need to be able to worry we need to get the sides and the front completely covered, which it looks like I'm getting my hands covered as well as I'm doing this. Okay, once you have both of your pieces painted black, we're just gonna let they sit and dry until they're completely dry, and then we'll get to our next layer. Okay, so our plaque and our word love are dry. Um, and it did take, a, I want to say, one and a half to almost two coats before I got really good coverage. And I just have to keep moving it around and making sure I got everywhere, okay? So our next layer or application is going to be the Artsyville Embellishments Foil Adhesive. And this is going to allow us to transfer um, some really cool foils, okay? So I've got a couple of choices here that we're going to work with. Um, this is our Leopard silver okay then we have the cheetah in silver and black and then red so once we get the foil adhesive on there we're going to figure out which one we're going to use or which ones I should say so I'm using the foam brush because I really want the foil adhesive to just be on the top surface uh, this product goes on milky white which is nice because you can see where it is going and you want to make sure you put on one good coat because if you don't have any foil adhesive on the surface, you're not going to get a transfer of the foil. Um, so make sure you get on a nice, good, even coat. And we're going to put this on all of the slats as well as the top of the word love. We're not going to put it on the sides because it was kind of challenging to um, even paint in that area so I can't imagine how much fun it would be to try to foil on the sides of the words. So we're just going to put our foil on the top layer and just let the sides be black. Now once you put this on you have to allow the foil adhesive to completely dry and it will take about an hour before it's going to get dry enough, what we call 
a really firm tack, okay? So you want to just put this on and set it aside. So we're just going to let those sit for about an hour and we'll come back and apply our foil. Okay, so our foil adhesive is completely dry. Like I said, we gave it about an hour or so and it is going to be still very, very sticky, but it'll dry back to black and it'll be a little shiny, okay? So the product does uh, dry shiny. So I'm not gonna move these out of my way because they're sticky and they're gonna wanna grab the foils. So I have chosen our cheetah print in the silver and black and then our red foil to do this project. And I've already cut off a couple of pieces. So it's always easier to cut off uh, a piece about the size of your project so you've got something easy to work with. Now, when you are applying the foils, um, let's, do, let's do our sign first, okay? Um, you're always wanting to be looking at the print, okay, or the color. So you're always going to be installing these with the color up, uh, the color facing up, uh, or the print facing up and then just put it directly over your surface. And we can use either a little scrub brush, we've got bigger scrub brushes, and sometimes we'll even just grab a toothbrush depending on our surface. Um, I do always like to kind of just start with um, a soft cloth. Um, this here is just a paper towel that is um, wadded up. And rub down the foil, okay? and then always take a peek and see what you've got so far. Now, because our wood is a little rougher and textured, it's gonna take a little bit more pressure. So I'm gonna grab my scrub brush and scrub. And then you're gonna take a peek again and you're gonna see if you have as much transfer as you want. Now, anywhere that the wood is a little bit more rough, you might not get as much of a transfer, but you can always put the foil back down and try again. Okay, we're gonna look at this one more time. Oh my gosh, that looks so awesome. And look how easy that is. All you have to do is brush on your foil adhesive and then transfer your foil. So our plaque is ready to go. And now let's go ahead and finish out our word love with the red foil. So again, I cut a piece that is definitely way bigger <laughs> than the word here. And I'm going to go ahead and still use uh, my paper towel just to smooth it down. That's the way I can see where the word is, okay, and all the elements of it. And like I said, it's always best to kind of peek and just see how, oh, look at that. See how quickly that's transferring? It's pulling it off like it's just butter. Um, foils, uh, when they're on a smoother surface, normally will come off really super um, easy, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and use the small scrub brush or we've got as close to 100% as possible. And let's peek and see what we got here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so great. Awesome. And <laughs> you can even see how our foil now has the word love cut out in it. <laughs> um, so we are ready to and actually put this together. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is foils can get scratched, okay? Because they're just uh, the finest of metalization. So we're gonna go ahead and put a clear coat over the top. So I've already applied my top coat. I grabbed our product called Final Coat. I put a lower sheen on the plaque and a higher sheen on the word love, just so that they would be a little different. I really wanted that bright red to just pop off of there. So the last thing that we're gonna do here is um, grab some glue, whatever glue that you have around, and I'm kind of going to figure out where we're going to put this word to begin with. And I think I might have to turn it towards me <laughs> to make sure I've got a good placement of this, okay? So go ahead and just put your glue on your surface. I'm just putting a light bead down. And then I'm going to kind of judge where I want it before I set it down. Because once I set that down, we're going to have glue everywhere, okay? 
just going to lightly push. We're going to let that set up. And then the only other thing I'm going to add is I created this cute little bow that we are going to attach. And that is going to be it. So here is our finished love sign. This is going to be really cute on my front door. And then after Valentine's Day, it's going to hang somewhere in the house. So thank you for joining me and learning how to work with our wonderful foils. We'll have a complete supply list at the end of the video. And also make sure you check out the other tutorials so you can learn how to make a shirt like this as well. We'll see you next time.